Coming up next, the matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. All right, so here he is, Tyson Fury, the king of the gypsies, the king of the heavyweights. You can argue no man in the sweet science has more steam than Tyson Fury right now. So much so that he's crossing over into the UFC to prove that he is not just an elite boxer. We've seen the videos of him training with the gorilla Darren Till. Don't want to read too much into that footage. But big picture, Fury believes he can not just fight the UFC, but can actually contend. He is as confident as anyone in combat sports and doesn't figure to be phased by the big show atmosphere here tonight. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. Standing six feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 257 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Tyson Fury. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Hamzat Bors Chibaya. This is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is going to be fair. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand over. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one? Oh! Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. A nice punch land over the top. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. 
Look at him dig that body shot right up through his opponent's third. And both guys really throwing with authority. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. The right hook to the body. Throws the right hand there. How about that shin? All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, he engages in a single power tie. And they separate. Misses again with a right punch. Oh, clinch position. Watch the ease and the elbows come now. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at three minutes, two seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury. There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ? I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.